Hey guys, uh, we have Loot Crate! We all like Loot Crate, don't we? Yes, I like Loot Crate. Before we open Loot Crate, you might hear Boogie going in the back because today was his birthday party and he's a little hopped up on sugar. Um, so excuse him. Uh, I got news for you. If you check your Dropbox, you'll see underneath the donations for Jamie, which if you have not donated, please do so. There's three different ways you can. You can place money in the PayPal, you can place money in the GoFundMe page, or you can also send items to Jamie and her children and her husband. Uh, there is four of them. There is her husband, herself, her daughter, and her stepson that could all use right now. Uh, address, everything is in the Dropbox. Also, underneath of all Jamie's information, you're gonna find my new postal box information. Uh, anybody wants to send anything at all, my new postal box information is there. Uh, it doesn't say P.O., it's actually like an address sent to a unit, which is my postal box. Um, I don't know, like, they, did, they do it differently, I guess. Not like what I've had previously when I lived down in Florida. So, let's go ahead and let's break into Loot Crate! Okay, as most of you guys know, I get Loot Crate for Richie, and I get Horror Block for me. Two different companies, though, but if you want to partake in Loot Crate, I do have a link down below, right in the Dropbox, with, with all the links to all the great companies that I use. Wow! First thing I say, look at this box. Tell me that's not cool looking for the box, man. So obviously we inside out this box. Now with Loot Crate, wow, look at all the cool shit. With Loot Crate, what you do is you use the boxes. They send you boxes and all the cool shit is on the inside and you just inside out them and the boxes turn into stuff. So it's pretty cool. First thing I'm going after, obviously, is the figurine here. This is Doctor Strange. Oh. Yeah, Richie likes this one. We're gonna pull Doctor Strange out because in this house, collectibles are not really going to be collectibles. They're gonna be passed down to my kids. So eventually my kid is gonna play with this. I don't know, Richie's in love with it. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, he does the Isn't he cool? Look at him with his base and everything. Ain't he cool looking? We like this. Hey, baby. You want to let him play with Doctor Strange? All right, so Doctor Strange. We got him hanging out over here. Uh, oh, I see some cool shit in here. Okay, now I got my loot crate box just a little late because the original one. They sent it to the wrong place, so they resent me a new one here. Okay, here's the shirt. Um, I refuse to look at everybody. Oh, I refuse to look at everyone's. Can you see? Just because I wanted to like be kind of surprised, but I did get a glimpse at Crazy Cats. Oh man! Uh, if you don't know what this is. This is for Fantastic Beast. It's that new movie. Um, let me hit his logo thing. It's the new movie that came out. It's like a, a like, kind of like I guess like a prelude to Harry Potter or something. I don't know. I've watched it about twenty times. I absolutely love it. The um, the creatures are my favorite. The one that steals from the bank and any change that he finds, and he looks like a little platypus. That is my absolute most favorite, favorite, favorite creature in the entire movie. He's so adorable. Here is the Loot Crate pin. Uh, I've noticed in, I believe, every box we get, like, a pin of some sort, which is just an exclusive Loot Crate item. Uh, this one is for Elder Scrolls. So, Richie will be very happy for the Elder Scrolls pin. He plays that game. But I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? You like it? I really think Elder Scrolls is cool. Both my brother, my nephew, and Richie all play that game. They actually team up with each other and go over to my brother's place and play together. Um... So, uh, that, man, I gotta, my brother's gotta get this box. He would love this, cause look. Big Trouble Little China. They just watched this movie about three times last Friday. Last Friday they had a little bit of a, a guy's night, and they watched this movie three or four times cause Boogie kept crying through it. But this is definitely, oh, it's Big Trouble Little China and Escape from New York. So I guess it's a two-in-one type comic. I don't want to open it simply because this is not my box, it's Richie's. But this is like a two-in-one type comic. I think that's really cool. I really like that. Um, I do wish Loot Crate would put the cardboard backings 
in with the comics and stuff. Because uh, obviously, if you ever collected comics, you know to bag it, put the little cardboard backing in it to keep it stiff and keep it from having a welt or a bend. Maybe you're gonna love this one. It's a two for two for comic. Take a look. What? They come all the time. Oh shit. And Escape from New York. So okay, it, it's a little chilly in here right now, so I have my my Afghan that Candy made me on. Okay, next we have this. It's a great Game of Thrones journal, right? Let me open it for you. Um, I think it looks better than the journal we got from Horror Block, which was the stupid Walking Dead one. Just simply because I'm not a big fan of Rick right now on Walking Dead. I think that Rick is a pussy and a giant pansy and really needs to untuck his balls and go kill Negan. Who's with me? Okay, as we open it, we got the nice, cool, colored binding here. I always like that. Open it up. You're seeing what I'm seeing. You have the front. That is way too friggin' tiny for me to see it, but I like it. I like it. And then you just have the journaling. See? This kind of seems a little more thought into than the Walking Dead one that I had gotten from Horror Block, simply because you actually have the heading on it. See my heading up there? It just seems a little more thought into. Uh, I actually really, really, really like this. I'm not a huge journaler, but what I do is I write down every single thing that we talk about or we do. Uh, video ideas. I have... Oh, look, it even has like the... Here we go. Let me grab it for you. It has the... Uh, bookmark attached to it, too. I really like this journal. This is really cute. Uh... But yeah, hell yeah, Loot Crate did pretty cool this month. I like this one. I think this is really good. Um, I like the Halloween one, too, that they did. But Loot Crate did really good this month. I like this a lot. A whole hell of a lot. Uh, I can't wait to see what December's is going to look like. And then also you get the book. Now, oh look, they love me. Inside this book, it tells you everything. It tells your Fantastic Beast knowledge. An uh, exclusive interview with magician and illusionist Joseph Riom. It, it's all kinds of stuff. It also tells you, it's like your cheat sheet, basically, to tell you what everything is. Your Doctor Strange figurine. Uh, the other type of loot crates that they have. They have, like, Marvel gears, and I think it's, it's called, like, loot crate gear or something like that. They have exclusive boxes. They have the South Park box, which was kind of cute. You do get a, um, I believe it was a Cartman hoodie in that one. That was actually really cool, because when you turn the hoodie around, it turns into a superhero, like, doppelganger. And then they have a wrestling one, the WWE. Uh, they do, like, some of, like, you know, quarterly ones. Uh, not quarterly, but, uh, like, when the movie Ghostbusters came out, I got Richie the Ghostbusters Loot Crate one, and it had a bunch of, like, memorabilia and things like that, and stills, and, uh, Slimer, an actual Slimer, like, Funko Top, Funko Pop type figurine in it. It was just really cool. This is the, uh, Game of Gods. This was for the journal. It says Game of Gods here. And that it's, a uh, religion in the Game of Thrones. So that was another thing that we got. Here is the comic. We got the comic. Gives us a little crossword puzzle here. Uh, oh, here is Gears of War. Okay, this is another box. See this over here? So if you're into, like, you know... This type of, I believe this one is what? Gears of War would obviously be like God of War type deal. Uh, this still that's up here in the corner, we got this in a previous box. But it's for like gear, for like clothes and like different things like that. You can get hoodies, um, you know, they have glasses, socks, mugs, all kinds of stuff here. But uh, it is called like Loot Crate Gear. And I really like that. Oh, here is the Elder Scrolls pin that we got. Now you can get like a better look at it. That's the Blue Crate pin that we got this month. I think it was pretty cool. I gotta say, favorite item in the box is... Uh, here's the Illusionist, the interview with him. That's him. The coolest item we got in the box would have to be two of them, and that is the Fantastic Beast shirt, which I really love. And I always get the shirts in, like, the bigger sizes, because you never know if they're going to shrink on you, but they're such a good quality that I haven't had anything shrink. But, like, one of their bigger sizes was a 3X. 
and I either get them in 4Xs, 5Xs, or 3Xs, depending on what's available. This one was a 3X. It is humongous. And I get them in the men's sizes because I sleep in them. I mean, you know, if, if you're laying around the house or doing nothing all day, kind of like what I do, you just throw in a pair of, like, uh, stretchies. What do they call them now? Leggings. Throw on a pair of leggings and throw on one of these t-shirts and lounge around, and it's really comfortable. This thing is soft as hell. I'm talking like baby soft. I think I just fucked up my mic. <laughs> but they're like baby soft, and I love them, and I haven't had anyone shrink on me yet. Um, the ones I don't like I give to Richie, but like Fantastical Beast is mine. The one from the horror one. Here's Loot Undies. I think that's really cool, and they give you like coupon codes on here and stuff. Like, if anybody wants to order the loot undies, here is your coupon code you can use. I notice we do not have any codes actually loose in the box, but if you hang on one minute, I'm going to inside out this box and show you what it looks like, so give me one second. Okay, guys, this is your box. So it was the Loot Crate box, and now it is the Metrical box. Because that is what this theme was this month. See? Ain't that kind of cool? Like, all their boxes. Like, I like to keep the ones that are just, like, really cool like this. I have one that's, like, Harley Quinn's hammer and things like that. Like, you know, sledgehammer thing. Um, we got uh, the Ghostbuster one that actually turns into, like, a photon pack thing. They're really cool. I mean, I like Loot Crate. Um, I couldn't tell you what it cost a month. <laughs> I probably could have when we first started getting them, but I can't remember now. I believe it's somewhere like either twenty dollars, twenty nineteen ninety nine, or it's like thirty dollars, one or the other. But it's it's worth it. I mean, you get the cool figurine. You always get some sort of like figurine-ish type deal, some sort of memorabilia piece. You get your loot pin, which this one is. What did it was again? Oh, babe, it's Elder Scrolls. The loot pin is Elder Scrolls. Yep. You get the t-shirt in every box. So, I mean, the t-shirt alone is like 20 bucks. And I believe that's what this box costs. I, don't quote me. You get something else that's a nice memorabilia piece. Um, you do get some autograph things sometimes. Uh, you get a lot of cool stuff. I'm missing something, though. I f I'm forgetting something. Oh, the comic book that Richie already took. He's reading it to the baby. But, uh... You get some cool stuff, and then you get to keep your box later, and you put all your goodies back in your box that you're like, you're not, like, the comic book would go back in here, things like that. Uh, the actual book book that you get, things like that, would go back in here. Pins, sometimes I leave in their boxes so I can remember what month they're from. But I happen to think Loot Crate is pretty cool. I really like it, and, you know, thank you, Loot Crate. Awesome box. I am enjoying it. I really, really, really like Doctor Strange. I think he is really cool. He is going to look so cool in our little collection area with all our little figurines. And there you have it. That was Loot Crate this month. Um, sorry mine was a little late, but it's here. <laughs> and it's it's great, so I love it. I definitely love the Fantastic Beasts t-shirt. That isn't That's like my favorite movie going right now. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan by any means. You know, I mean... Dumbledore, whoever, I don't know. I like just the critters. Uh, Darby is my favorite. So if I can find Darby stuff anywhere, oh my god, I, f I fell in love with him. When he got his little sock and, and was free, and then they killed him. Oh, so horrible. But I do think the best things out of this box have to be the t-shirt and the journal. I really like this journal. I like This one was really thought out nice. You know, they didn't just hand us a plain marble notebook with a picture of Rick on the front of it. Which, that's kind of how I felt about the horror block one. They actually gave us one that has the heading on it, it's got the bookmark in it, and it's got really, I mean, it's actually really good paper, too. You know, it's like kind of, it's not white paper, it's that yellowish off-white, so it kind of gives it that um, kind of like old nostalgia type edge to it. They did it well. I like this one. It seems like I'm getting journals in every damn box lately. Um, this one I'm actually going to use for, uh, not spells, what do you call them? Scents. Scents and, and wax stuff and things like that. So I'm actually going to use this one. My friend Natalie told me to get myself a book and write down my recipes and things like that. And it's so I can remember them for the next batch of wax melts that I want to make. So now I have one. All right. I love you all. If you have yet to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button right somewhere over here, I believe it is. And uh, the drop box is also there. It has our new postal box address, which will be on every video from here on. Starts off with Boogie's uh, birthday video. 
That's why we started putting the new address. I will send it out to everybody, all companies, things like that as best I can. But if you need to reach me, Dropbox it and all my information's there. There's an email address, there is the postal box address, the new one. And feel free to send anything, it is all secure there, it is actually a postal box. So we just go down and use our key to open it, take our papers and give it back to them. They hand us all our packages. So it's not a physical address, it is just a box. You know, it's it's the postal box. Alright. I love you all and uh once again please if you can, by any means, donate to Jamie. She can really use the help right now. And she is safe, and she is in good spirit, but uh, she's devastated right now. So, anything at all. I mean, they can literally use anything. I'm talking, like, toiletries to uh, a hairbrush, you know? I mean, anything you can think of. Box it up, ship it out. They can use it. They appreciate it. You know, very, very loving, kind family, and it just, it, it couldn't have happened at a worse time, especially around the holidays. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Good night, guys.